Hi friends, welcome back to API tutorial with Laravel 8. From last few days, we are discussing about API and API request type. We already discussed about GET request and how to send parameter with a GET request. Today, we will going to learn about how to use POST method. Okay? So first of all, we need to know when and why we need POST method. So let's take an example for any from submit. We will use POST method for this. So now question is why we use this. We can use GET method also. But the best practice is always use POST method. While you submit any form, we know that while we submit any form using GET method, all data can be visible from URL. Okay. So which is very insecure and for large form it may get a problem becomes so much size. Okay. So for this type of case we should always use the post method. So here is my Laravel application and we will create API and request via the postman. Okay. So here if we go to the create a request we will get a section where we can set our URL and we can set the request type okay so we have already discussed about gate today we will discuss about the post request we know from operation and we know how to submit from now we need to know how we use post method when we requesting through post api okay so this is my laravel application and i already set up the laravel so my environment i have set up the database that is laravel api tutorial so this is my database and i already created a controller that is block controller so go to the app http controllers so here we will get the block controller and i have already the models that is block model so we have created all those things in our previous video so if you have any queries about this section please go through our previous video so now we'll post some data from the postman and we'll add some data into the blocks table okay so for any api operation we will use our api.php route so here we will create a url so just create url that is route and we will create a post type request so post and i am creating a url that is add blog okay and here my controller name is that is block controller so write it here colon colon class and suppose I am creating a method that is add block okay and we need to call this URL from the postman so go to the postman and call the URL so 127 0.0.1800 API so we are using API route so we need to write API and after that the URL okay and we will use post here and here we need to add the post okay so now we need to create a method inside the block controller the method name is add block so create this so create method that is public function add block okay and we will pass request to this method so we'll use the request so use the request as dollar request so what will be the request so request should be passed from the postman so we will pass always the json formatted data so go to the body and here we will use the raw data and pass the json data okay so how we can say this so here we need to write a title and description so basically we have the titles and details so in the postman we will pass two things that is title so here the title is suppose blog one and the details so i am passing that another parameter that is details is basically the blog details okay so when you click on the same button basically these two things will go to the controller okay so using the request we'll get this 
now to save data into the block table we will use the block model so that is already created in our last video so create one variable that is blog and i am creating the new blog okay so using this blog variable we will accept the request and we will pass into the database okay so block title so basically title is the database column name and to get the title value from the request just use request and after that the name of the parameter that is title and in the same way we will get the details from request details and we will add into the details basically these details is for these details okay and after that we need to save so use dollar blog save okay so here this will not be comma this will be semicolon so so all is set so when you click on this send button this record will save into the block table okay and after save we will just add a condition suppose if the blog is successfully saved then it will show a message otherwise it will show an error message okay so the all save things will take into a result variable okay so if the result is true it will return okay so basically it will return suppose so result and will print blog saved okay and if the result is false it will go to the else part and it will say the blog not set okay so now go to the postman and click on the send button so just click on the send button so here you can see the block saved so now if you go to the database and click on browse we can see the blog one and the blog details which is sent from the postman okay so now add another request so i am writing the block 2 and the details is block details 2 so click on send so now if we go to the database and refresh so we can see so it's all about api request in the laravel 8 if you have any queries about this video please comment in the below comment section next day we will going to learn about laravel put request so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.